In this video, we're going to look at how to graph a line if you have the equation in slope point form. So the key idea here is that when we look at the equation, we're going to try to figure out what the slope of the line is, just where, from where that number is in the equation, and what the point of the slope point form is. So once we've got the point on the line, and also the slope, and I'll mark those in pink, then we just use those to draw the graph. Okay, so here are a couple examples. We're supposed to sketch the graphs of the following lines and label at least three points. So we have y plus 5 equals 2 times x plus 1, and y minus 3 equals negative x plus 1. So in both of these cases, the equations are written in slope point form. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to rewrite them um, so they match exactly the, what the general slope point form is. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus m1. They're pretty close, um, and this part right here is good, y minus 3. But what I'm just going to go back to where I've got the pluses, and I'm going to rewrite plus 5 as subtract negative 5, so it'll be really, really easy to see what our point and our slope are. So here, we have y subtract negative 5 equals 2 times x, and then x plus 1 I'll rewrite as x subtract negative 1. So what this tells us is that the point that's on the line, so the x1 is negative 1, and y1 is negative 5. And that the slope of the line is this number right here, is the 2. Okay, so let's sketch that. The point negative 1, negative 5, negative 1, negative 5. And then from there we'll go up 1 and over 2, so that's the point 0, negative 3, and then, sorry, I said over, we'll go over 1 and up 2 to get there, and then we go over 1 and up 2 again, we get to the point 1, negative 1. I'll do one more, it only asks for 3, but let's go one more. So over 1 and up 2 more gets us to 2, 1. Okay, so take a, let's take a look at this one. We've got x subtract 3 equals negative x plus 1. And the first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite it again with the pink to highlight what the coordinates of the point are and what the slope is. So here, x, y subtract, and that's just 3, equals, and I'm going to take this negative sign, and I'm just going to write that as negative 1, because negative x plus 1 is the same as negative 1 times that. It's x, x plus 1 is the same as x, subtract negative 1. Okay. So this tells us that a point on the line is the point negative 1, 3, so x1, y1, and that the slope of the line is negative 1. Okay, so we'll do a quick sketch. Negative 1, 3. And then my slope is negative 1. So I'll go over 1 and down 1. So that's going to be the point 0, 2. Over 1 and down 1 again. 1, 1. And then maybe one more for good measure. We're at 2, 0. So we'll just double check both of them. We've done them right. So slope point form tells us the coordinates of a point on the line and the slope. So here we've got the point should be negative 1, negative 5. That's this point right here. And the slope is 2. And this looks like a slope of 2. It's positive and it's pretty steep. Over here, the point on the line should be negative 1, positive 3. So that's this point, and our slope is negative 1, and that looks like a slope of a negative 1. Alright, good luck!